who were there. Host of heaven, almost all heaven came down. The Bible says that, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly. Come on, say that with me. It says that heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory. Now, when Jesus was born, he was born in a manger. But when he was born, heaven came down. I want you to know, I want to announce to you that angels are not the host, they are not the only host in heaven. There are more things or beings in heaven that we don't know about. There are animals in heaven. There are birds in heaven. There are creatures that we have never seen before in heaven. But when God came down, he had to come with him. That shows the royalty of Jesus and that shows who he is. Now, then the Bible says that and let us go, verse 14. It says that and verse, well, verse 14. Glory, this one they say, glory to God in the highest and on earth, what? Peace. On earth, peace and good will towards men. When Jesus was born, the Bible says that peace. And goodwill towards men. So they hurried up, verse 16, off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at the shepherds and said to them. Matthew chapter 2, I will read from 1 to 6. I'm laying this foundation because I want to talk to you shortly about something the Lord is encouraging me about. Now I want you to understand that Jesus was not born in a prestige place was not born in the hospital. She, he was born in a place where the mother was in danger of death. There was no epidural. There was no uh, doctors turning by for cesarean in case the baby's breech. The only person around helping her was Joseph. Poor Joseph he was a carpenter. No experience in childbearing. I was there as the only assistant. But heaven had just come down. Heaven was on its guard, looking for Jesus. And now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came a wise man from the east to Jerusalem. Verse 2. Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jew? Where is born the king of the Jews? That is the question they were asking. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to do what? Worship. To worship him. Hey, how many were, were, were how many was were aware when this little George was born? What's his name again? George Alexandra. Alexander. What was his name again? George Alexander. 
George Alexander, Louis, whatever they call it. When this young man was born, there were people traveling from all over the world, stayed where this, this guy was to be born for days. Some of them wanted to have the first shot of the baby. Some of them were having a fair, they wanted to be the first news to announce that, hey, we saw King George, supposedly, the heir to the throne, being born. So it was in the days of Jesus, the Bible says that the, the guys from the east came and they wanted to find out where the king is born. Why? Because they wanted to worship the king. Amen. Amen. They wanted to worship the king. For we have seen his star. We have seen his star. Verse 3. I'll, read, I'll, I'll go back to this. Uh, when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed. And all Jerusalem was him. When he called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. And in verse 5, in Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. Verse 11. And on coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed and worshipped him. And they opened their treasures. They, they opened what? Their treasures. And presented him with gifts of gold and gifts of incense and with gifts of men. There is another way. Go back to 11. I've always thought that there were three people <coughs> and they presented him with gold and frank incense and men. But I have also gotten understanding that they didn't give him one gold. They gave him gold. The gifts were a lot of them. They had prepared all these years and had given it to the king. They had given him an ability to rule over them. The Bible says that wherever your treasure is, wherever your heart is, there your treasure will be. So the people had saved their treasure until they saw the king and said, rule over us. And they gave him their gold. And incense is another preservative power. So they gave the, in the incense a perfume. Imagine Visachi visiting King George. He will give him something that will, he will treasure forever. So they give him their front incense. They give him their perfumes. They give him something that when he, he, he ruled over.